All right, my darling Virgos, what's going on for you? Let's take a look at what's happening. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Sometimes pieces of the story are for you, not the whole story. Also feel free to swap around the characters. Many thanks to Archangel Michael for being here to guide us this morning. <sighs> All right. Bring it home, Michael. Let's see where we're going here. <laughs> I know. I know. All right. Starseed. Do you know that about yourself? Starseed. I'm a galactic starseed blooming. Seriously? Alchemical artist. This is definitely about... Some of you are, are waking up. Okay, uh, this might be one of the first tarot readings you ever see. Some of you may be brand new to tarot. There's new people on my channel, and I'm definitely feeling like there's a lot of information that needs to flow through you and to you. Some of you are opening up to your gifts right now. All right, this is a really miraculous um, kind of experience. Your Virgo is balanced by Pisces, okay? So Pisces is the opposite sign, and Pisces is the connection, the spiritual pipeline, okay? So Virgo, it's like, I'm doing my I'm doing my routines, I'm doing my daily thing, I can't be, can't be bothered with this, can't be bothered with this. I got stuff to do, places to go, people to see. However, the universe is pushing you to open up to that spiritual path. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, look at this. Nine of Swords. No, thank you. Don't want to open up to my spiritual gifts. No, thank you. Queen of Swords. Like, uh, I don't really think you have a choice, right? We've got the world and the Ten of Swords. And then we've got Archangel Michael here with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. And the Strength card. This is Leo energy. I like this. <clears throat> so um, I feel like some of, some of you know a thing that you don't want to know. Some of you to other people look like you're on top of the world, but there's something that you do not want to hear, okay? And you're like, la, 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 okay? That doesn't do anything, okay? That's just, a it's not even a delaying tactic. It's like something is going to end and you're going to have spent the whole time with your fingers in your ears. The good news is... Sagittarius, Leo. This is Leo. Uh, Venus is in Leo now. It moved in on the 5th of June. So there is some kind of passion headed toward you. You have to move out of whatever um, could be dealing with a um, could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. But I feel like the fire signs of the future. The air is right now and it's very cold and kind of calculating and i feel like that's just not even okay for you it doesn't feel good wow tower ace of pentacles on the other side of this is good stuff right seven of wands four of wands two of cups high priestess the seven of swords the death card look at that wow three of wands they're uh I feel like you didn't want to know that someone's cheating on you or something like that. And you just didn't want to know. And it still is happening whether you know it or not. It's like, la, 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 la. It's still going on. Just because you don't know about it doesn't mean, doesn't make it better. All right. Doesn't make it better. I feel like you're getting a, a, a new life here. Think something you've been refusing for a long time. All right, talk to me about this tower. Something you've been refusing for a long time. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. That's Virgo. Uh, someone's been telling you this for a long time. A best friend. Someone's really, maybe even a Scorpio has been has been letting you know, and you've been running away from this person. So maybe maybe you've been not listening to them. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Water Sign. Um, trying to share information with you. And I feel like this is because somewhere this person knows that there's a better person for you, a better sitch, okay, a better sitch. And I just feel like you've just been like, I don't really want to hear this. Go away. I don't want to hear this. Eight of Cups, 
justice. Yeah. Page of cups and the star. So I'm getting Libra and Aquarius here. And I feel like um, you may take steps toward a divorce or you may have done that a couple times. I feel like this person always apologizes and it comes back together again. Uh, I feel like there's something now it's like, okay, so this is a little bit of a radical story to tell you, but I think, I think the point is made by telling you the story. When my mother was passing away, she said to me, so she died when she was 88. So when she was like 86, she said, you know, they come for you. You don't have to go, but one time you don't get a choice. And I think that's what's happening here. I feel like you've you've had it over and over and over again, told to you spiritually, physically, friends, whatever it is, told, 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 told. And finally, you don't get a choice. Okay, you don't get a choice. I hope you can forgive me one day. I left you when I saw you with someone. We need to let each other go. I hide behind material things. I feel like this is the two of you. I feel like this is them. I hope you, you can forgive me one day and we need to let each other go. And I left you. I left when I saw you with someone. This is you. And I hide behind material things. There's something material, materially important to you. Maybe the the look of the thing. More than the spiritual thing. I, I just feel like you don't really give much credence to the spiritual piece of things. And... You know, you're in a contract here with this person. You're in a contract. Um, we all have contracts with our soulmates. And I mean, you may not be watching this. You, Virgo, may not be watching this sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But I feel like your third party is, and I feel, feel like your person is. Okay? So, um, contracts contracts, contracts. Okay. So this is about moving away from the material toward the spiritual, right? That the relationship must be spiritual. There is a past life connection here that's trying to come in. There's somebody trying to come in. And I feel like you're holding on to the material um, because that's what you know. And it's like, come to a nine. It's come to the end of this. Nine of swords, nine of wands. We're coming to the end of this. The eight of wands, more and more conversation, more and more conversation. Look, we've got the ace, two, three, and four here. Now, this is the new thing. This is a two. The high priestess is a new thing. And um, the seven, the tower is a 16 card, which goes to seven, which is about wisdom. So the wisdom here, and this is a seven, too, about letting go of it and starting something new. Plant the seed to start something new. This person down here seven of swords and death. I feel like that's this person too, the eight of wands and the three of pentacles. Like they're trying to tell you what's going on. Empress, knight of swords, king of wands and the wheel of fortune. You know, we are moving on from this moon, five of pentacles for sure. Six of cups, eight of swords. I feel like this person keeps messing up and apologizing and coming back. That's the contract here. The contract is for you finally to stand up for yourself. The Knight of Swords. When are you going to finally stand up and say enough's enough? When are you going to finally do that? Because I do feel like you are. I feel like you're going toward this um, Libra energy here that can be a legal thing, can be a divorce, can be something like that. Going toward that, the timing on this by the end of this year, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles to uh, two months within the next two months, there's going to be uh, some kind of schism um, that I don't think you can um, uh, ignore. All right. The world and the Ten of Swords, there's going to be something happening this summer. And then by the end of this year, this will be done. Um, this will be done. And I feel like, you know, this you're going to know this over the next two months. You know that this is ending. You know, you feel it coming. You feel the ending coming. And the truth is we need to let each other go. There's definitely a contract here. Let me see. And the con one of the contracts is for you to stand up for yourself, make your boundaries, be better at that, take action, stop hiding behind material things. Seven of cups, three of cups, 10 of pentacles, queen of pentacles, 
and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this person, I feel like this person doesn't have a good grounding in what they want. I feel like they don't know. I feel like they were trying to give you something that you wanted, but it's not what they are here to do. It's not their life. That's, this is not meant for them. Um, this is not meant for them. The sun, the magician, the lovers, and the four of cups. Um, I feel like you're manifesting love, but what you have is third party and other kinds of stuff. And the fact is that's not a love contract. That's a contract about standing up for yourself. That's a contract, right? That's a contract about something else. It's not about happiness. It's not about that. And I feel like that's one of the things you're learning is that if you're asking for love, you may have this, um, this kind of paradigm in your head that this person does represent love, but they really don't. Not true love, not this, not happiness and joy and, and all of that, Le Venus and Leo and everything like that. I feel like Venus going into Leo is going to force this issue. Okay, and you just awakening, you're getting a lot of downloads about this. It's like you can't, you can't shut it out anymore. All right, you can't unsee this anymore. So I'm going to continue on. If you want to continue on with me, I'm going to look at um, helpers for you. I'm going to look at the path for you and what's next. I feel like if you're having a spiritual awakening on top of all this, there's a lot going on. So we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. Link in the description box, Virgo. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.